Hello, hello beauties. My name is Shweta Vijay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're in the month of September, so this is August favorite and it's my father's birthday today. So if you're watching, happy birthday. We have some exciting products in this monthly favorite. Few of them you must have seen through reels and shots. So it's just a combination of everything that I have loved. And since September is the month of autumn and many festive season, I just feel that in case you have a budget to shop, and buy something really nice treat yourself this video probably will help you and before we start don't forget to hit that subscribe button follow me at shweta vijayanaya that's my instagram account grab that tea or coffee and don't forget to take notes yeah let's get this party rolling all right guys very quickly before i start in my last monthly favorite where i did the plum lipstick giveaway i chose two winners so in case you missed the winners being disclosed there please make sure you go to the info bar under this video where i have disclosed the winners once again i've chosen two so congratulations and again there is another mini giveaway out here you guys just my way of showing a little gratitude for all the love and support that you have shown me and the fact that festive season that started with honor all the way to Diwali I'm going to be doing this frequently so today's giveaway is my favorite the first one is Dr. Shed's Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask I love it you guys know that the second one is the Amla Vitamin C 20% from Dr. Shed again one of the most incredible vitamin C serum and the next one is from Plum this is the Body Lovin Trippin Mimosa perfume all you need to do is just make sure that you've hit the red button subscribe that's really important and leave whatever feedback that you want under this video whatever it is come back to this video after about a week and a half and you will see the winners being disclosed in the information bar it will be pinned Let's start. The first one is an eyeshadow palette. This is Jaclyn Hill with Morphe. And this is the palette volume two. And I have been enjoying this palette so much. I know that this is something that is available here at Nykaa. As you can see, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's got a beautiful array of warm tones, cool tones, neutral tones. This has superseded my love for Huda Beauty's Gold Remastered. For the amount that you're getting and for the price range, I feel that this is a much better option because you're getting a lot more for your money's worth than the Huda Beauty, which is just a warm tone shadow palette. The textures out here are beautiful. The mattes and the shimmers are highly pigmented. And I think this is that one go-to palette that you can invest in and you don't need anything else for a very long time guys if you've got your Indian wedding makeup it's very Indian skin tone friendly kind of an eyeshadow palette and there's this one eyeshadow I'm in it and I made a whole separate video on how I achieve my inner corner highlight just with this one eyeshadow it elevates your eye makeup game to another level these pack on their pigments without an eyeshadow primer as well if you've forgotten that no problem you'll still be able to achieve that really beautiful pigmented tones whether you love or hate Jacqueline one thing that you have to give credit where it's due this girl knows her makeup yeah she really knows how to put up some stellar stuff so if you are thinking of investing in an eyeshadow palette from Nykaa look no further sale no sale pick this one up all right let's move on to the second makeup item which completely won me over it's a lip balm lip gloss hybrid and my lord is this so shiny and so juicy that's what i've applied on my lips you guys this is from makeup by mario uh this is in the shade called bronze glow we all know who mario is it's kim kardashian's makeup artist he has his own makeup line you can get this from his website or you can get this directly from cult beauty if you're in the uk or you can get this from sephora as well if you're in india i shop most of my cosmetics from cosme cosmetic club it's got this tiny specks of shimmer which is not glitter guys you can wear it on its own or on top of a lipstick as a lip topper it just doesn't you know trouble the liquid lipstick that you have underneath it it will transfer because it's a lip gloss obviously but it just leaves your lips feeling nice and full because it's got that minty um, you know it gives that tingling effect to your lips that just makes your lips come alive and come fuller you know so without troubling and irritating your lips because there's so many of those lip toppers like really burn your lips this doesn't do that and it's really hydrating and it leaves such a beautiful glass like sheen to your lips and when the light reflects it ooh, they've done an incredible job this went completely viral on tiktok you guys it has many shades please pick this one up if you're thinking of picking up 
maybe that one or two products from Mario this has to be in that top list it is worth every penny spent out here and I know you're going to love it as much all right shall we move to skincare right now let's start off with Dr. Shed's Amla vitamin C 10% now I have spoken about the 20% concentration many many times here on my channel I love it I absolutely love it it really brings about a difference for somebody who's got mature skin for example if you're 35 and above and you've got problems on your skin like deep pigmentation acne scars many of the dermatologists would recommend a high concentration vitamin C the 20% is definitely a bestseller but I think they took customer feedback into consideration and came out with a 10% with the same ingredients and what I mean by the same ingredients is it's got amla, it's got 0.5% ferulic acid, it's also got spirulina extract which is a great antioxidant and it's got vitamin E. So the 10% vitamin C is derived from ethyl ascorbic acid which is a very stable form of vitamin C and that vitamin C is quite suitable for a lot of skin types. So if you've got sensitive skin I feel this is the kind of vitamin C that you can play around with. It also has got zero fragrance and nothing that is irritating out here in this serum. It's a beauty of a serum that can be enjoyed by all skin types so if you are starting if you're a beginner and you're looking out for a very good vitamin C in the Indian market I've got a few vitamin C favorites the Dr. Shed one is definitely there in the top five the 20% now even the 10% works really well so that just goes to show it's not about the concentration out here it's a formulation that brings about a difference to your skin this is the kind of formulation and vitamin C that your skin will react immediately to either it will hate it immediately or you will see a visible difference just like that this one is safe to use almost every day make sure that you follow it up with the sunscreen the sunscreen that made it to the list you guys is this one from aquilogica this is the glowy dewy sunscreen and oh boy it is affordable it's so lightweight leaves zero white cast no fragrance it is such a fabulous sunscreen for people who have got dry skin if you've got dry you've got combination and normal skin this is the sunscreen for you if you've got very oily skin I think you can avoid this because it leaves a dewy finish I'm not saying that it's going to leave that oil pan kind of a feeling on your skin but even if you've got that borderline oily skin somehow you can make it work if you've like a dewy effect foundation sits really well on top of that it's SPF 50 broad spectrum protection of UVA UVB against aging and burning I think they have done a beautiful job now I know I'm going to get asked a lot of question this or the Dermacos 1% Hyaluronic sunscreen which I've spoken about so many times now that sunscreen is suitable for all especially if you've got oily skin but if you're dry skin and you're looking out for something that's going to give you a nice glowy finish this is a nice mix of a skincare as well as sunscreen so this is perfect for people who do not like to apply or skip the process of a moisturizer in the morning so for example you wash your face you apply your serum and you do not want to follow it up with a moisturizer or you forget to follow it up with the moisturizer this sunscreen comes to the rescue because it gives you that sun protection factor it's lightweight no white cast whatever skin tone it is you're going to enjoy this plus because of that dewy effect it leaves your skin feeling extremely hydrated it is beautiful all right let's turn it up a notch and move on to makeup again the product that made it to the list is verified IRL Paris filter powder now this is a loose powder very different from the compact powder that she launched now when it comes to the compact powder to be honest I still love the compact powder a little more than this with that compact powder I felt that every time you apply your makeup you can just touch up it's almost like a setting powder this one I feel is a finishing powder and I'll tell you exactly in a minute what I meant by that this does the same thing as the compact powder it minimizes the pores it takes away the oil I just felt that with the compact powder it's a little flimsy I'm talking about uh, the packaging overall because it broke and that my entire powder got shattered I like the fact that you know this is that 2.0 version newly improved it's got that loose powder finish very very friendly packaging at the same time very travel friendly you get a satin pouch along with it you get a powder puff with it now you can use this as a setting powder because I feel that this is so finely milled and so soft it's got that velvet soft finish very much like the compact powder actually but this is softer because it's loose powder and I also feel that if you have got a deeper darker skin tone this will still work without leaving your skin looking ashy or gray toned you know so that's what I love about this newly improved one because it's so soft that 
it just melts into the skin apply any setting powder of your choice you can apply this as a setting powder as well but why i would keep this as a finishing powder like the airbrush flawless finishing powder by charlotte tilbury or the hourglass one which is also for me the ambient light uh, is a finishing powder according to me and what i mean by that is when you apply powders like this it just gives you a beautiful highlighted um, you know it sculpts your face so beautifully it brings together the entire makeup and it sets your face you know for that overall filtered effect and that's what i like about it i like a finishing powder that is hydrating and this is hydrating so when you pack in your under eye area if you want to set it with this as well because it's so velvety soft and hydrating and so finely milled it's not going to dry your under eye area and at the same time whatever pores that you have on your t-zone area and texture you will see that it brings about a difference this is something i purchased with my own money it was not a gift a beauty of a job done here now on to my next product that took me by surprise this is the nika all day matte foundation and oh boy that's what i have applied right now i'm in the shade 08 olive and it's a really good foundation uh, which gives you coverage but it also gives you a skin like finish it's a matte foundation baby this is completely matte this is not meant for dry skin i feel that if you've got anything between borderline dry normal just mix it up with something that's nearly moisturizing hydrating and dewy like the hollywood filter or something of that effect and then you can make this one work but guys the way it sits on the skin it did not oxidize as much and after about five six hours yes the oil starts to peep through it starts to crack right here in the middle of it but the overall finish of it is just very very good they just need to be a little more shade inclusive i think they've got 10 12 i'm not too sure how many shades but they can go all the way to 20 because if they hit that mark i feel for a big corporation like nika who has got the budget they can come out with more shades out here i am totally shook by this foundation i just wish that there's more undertones more shade variety and this just makes it that perfect budget friendly foundation and once they get the shade range right when everybody can enjoy and it's a lot more inclusive i feel that this is that budget friendly foundation that everyone will grab onto and they will sell out a lot more okay we've got two more products to go before we finish off this video and that is from aquilogica once again hear me out no like i said this video is not sponsored they don't even know i'm doing this video i did a reel where i showed that the watermelon glow sleeping mask from glow recipe now this is a brand that i absolutely love if you are not into fragrance in your skincare line this is not the brand for you because it'll break you out and this sleeping mask they sadly discontinued this you guys because i don't know for what reason i think they're coming out with a new improved version of it so i'm looking forward to it now this one has got watermelon extract it's got hyaluronic acid and it's got aha that is lactic acid and glycolic acid mix it's really lovely it refines the skin it gives you that deep hydration it does something good for your skin eventually now that they have discontinued it i was looking out for dupes and many of the aquilogica pink variant is almost a good enough dupe i'm not saying the exact dupe of the glow recipe one and something that is close to this watermelon sleeping mask is this one texture wise it feels the same it deeply hydrates your skin this one has got niacinamide watermelon extract and hyaluronic acid which i think works even better on my skin to be honest because i love niacinamide so it really helps helps your skin at the same time it hydrates it's not just a sleeping mask you can apply this in the morning you can apply this at night you can apply this before foundation it just makes the foundation sit really beautifully on your skin it's a really lovely oil-free gel moisturizer that is perfect for all skin type this is not only meant for oily skin if you've got sensitive skin this is not the one for you because of the fragrance infused and even the fragrance is a little lesser than the glow recipe one yeah you're getting that fruity fragrance of watermelon extract but it is not as evident and strong as the glow recipe product and that's what i like about it so it's not going to trouble your sense of smell but it packs in that hydration this has completely took me by surprise it's called the radiance jello moisturizer and look at that texture i'm done with the watermelon one but so similar in texture wise in fact 
Can I tell you something? This is a little more, the Aqualogica one is a little more hydrating. And if you've got oily skin, combination skin, normal skin, oh, you are going to love this completely. It's slowly creeping into my top 10 moisturizer. It's just a fantastic one. And the last product to hit the monthly favorite list, this beautiful retinol. This is the face cream retinol by Pure Bubble Skincare. I did a whole reel out here. Again, something that did extremely well. Many of you went and bought it. You have given me your feedback. You loved it. Now, when it comes to a retinol, I prefer cream retinols more than serums, to be honest. I feel with a cream retinol, you can formulate it with ceramides and various other hydrating factor. And it just makes it easier for you to apply that on the skin without irritating your skin. This one has got hydrating factors that come from shea butter, pumpkin seed oil, as well as squalane. And the fact that it's got a slightly high concentration retinol, but because it's been formulated with various hydrating factor, it makes it so gentle, even for people who are beginning with a retinol. They have done a remarkable job out here. I love a retinol that comes from Inky List, you guys. It's again, that cream moisturizer kind of a retinol, which is my ultimate favorite. When you apply an Inky List retinol, you see a visible difference on your skin. So if you are abroad, if you are in the UK or you're in the US or anywhere in Dubai, Middle East, go and get the Inky List retinol because that is just top notch. The same thing, you guys, is this cream that comes from Pure Bubble Skin Care. I think I've got a discount code again with this. Trust me, this is a fast acting retinol. And what I mean by that is that it brings about a difference to your skin within a month. You'll start to see that your skin looks perkier, it looks tighter, uh, it refines those lines that you have around the eye because it is so hydrating when you apply this on your orbital bone at the same time. You don't need an eye cream along with this. Start off with once a week and gradually after a month, start off with twice a week, you guys, and then you can go maybe three times a week. If it comes to a cream, I always rely on Inky List and if I can't get my hand on the Inky List, I don't care. This is definitely right up there in one of the best retinol creams in India. So those are my monthly favorite, you guys. The movie that made it to my monthly favorite list is Darlings. If you have not watched it, Alia Butts, please make sure that you do. It's on Netflix. Stellar performance, stellar storyline. It was a fun watch. Absolutely fell in love with everything about that movie. From the word go, it just kept me intrigued. We all know that Alia Bhatt is a stellar performer, but it was Vijay Verma that actually stole the show out here. I couldn't keep my eyes off him. What a performance. And of course, Shafali Shah. That lady is a very underrated performer, you guys. From Delhi Crime to various other movies to this one, she just keeps on getting better and better. So if you missed that movie, please go and watch it because it's a fab, fab find. Let me know what has been your monthly favorite. Don't forget to participate in the giveaway. Leave your comments in the feedback section and I shall get back to you. And until later, bye for now.